mad world, mad kings, mad composition. John, to stop Arthur's title to the hall, hath willingly departed with a part, and France, whose armor conscience buckled on, whose zeal and charity brought to the field as God's own soldier, rounded in the ear with that same purpose changer, that sly devil, that broker, that breaks the pate of faith, that daily break vow, he that wins of all, of, of kings of beggars, of old men, young men, maids, mates, who are no external thing to lose, but the word maid, maid cheats the poor maid of that. That sly, smooth-faced gentleman, tickling commodity. Commodity, the bias of the world. The world, who of itself is poised well, made to run even upon even ground, until that advantage, this, this vile drawing bias, this sway of motion, this commodity, makes it take head from all indifferency, all direction, purpose, course, intent. That same bias, that commodity, that bawd, that broker, that all-changing word, clapped upon the outward eye of fickle France draws him from his own determined aid from a resolved and honourable war to a most base and vile concluded peace. Why rely on this commodity? <laughs> but for because it hath not wooed me yet. Not that I have the power to clutch my hand when his fair angels doth salute my palm. But for my hand hath unattempted yet like a poor beggar raileth on the rich. And whilst I am a beggar, I will rail and say, there is no sin but to be rich. And being rich, being rich, my virtue then shall be to say, there is no vice but beggary. If kings break faith upon commodity, gain be my lord, for I will worship thee.